Hi Capricorn, what's up? It's your girl Sid and welcome to Savvy Sentience and welcome to your September 2021 love reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you all are new here, hello. Once again, I'm Sid. Welcome. Please make sure that you like, share, subscribe, and interact with the video. Show me some love. Por favor y gracia. And it also really helps out the channel. It's really appreciated. Thank you so much. And if you all are not new here, welcome back gang. What's up? How y'all doing? Hope all is well. Uh, if you all would like personal readings, SavvySantian.com is where you will book. If you all would like to follow me on any of my other social media, the direct me link and the website will be in the description box below. Now, this month we are not doing a meditation before the reading just because it's been a hectic month and I got to catch up. But all of these messages will be intuitive. So let's go ahead and get into them. All right, Spirit, what is the messages or overall energy of this reading? Or Capricorn. We got two cards coming out. And we have the Son of Swords. The Son of Swords is the Knight of Swords running into action quickly to do what, though? The Ten of Wands? Yeah, Wands. <laughs> and that is unburdening yourself, freeing yourself of your burden, putting down that load that has been weighing you down for so long. It is time to release that ASAPishly. Put that shit down. Okay, so that is the overall energy of this reading. We're going to go ahead and pull cards for your person's energy and your energy as well. But first, we're going to grab a Lover's Oracle. Messages for Capricorn. <laughs> okay. A romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. So this may be a person coming in for you that makes you feel less burdened okay um we're gonna grab some lovers some love oracles from the island time wellness as well messages for capricorn please messages for capricorn please okay so capricorn i'm gonna just say this in the recent readings um there has been someone that you all need to release, that you all need to let go of, that you all need to fucking cut the cord with, but it seems like you all have been having a difficult time. Um, I say that to say that you all do have a love call coming in, and this is someone expressing love to you, thinking about you and letting you know. And then that is also followed by the separation card, which is sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning and unsure of the future. So this person who you all have recently separated from may be trying to come back in to fix things. Um, I'm not going to say don't, but I am going to say if that person is harmful and toxic, obviously use your best judgment. Okay. Um, <laughs> we also have the hammer card, which is sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. Face ass card. So again, if this is your past person who is not um, healthy for you, that has been toxic according to the previous readings, don't do this. And then finally, we have the mask card, not showing their true feelings, high personify, uh, pretend gas lewd, uh, gas lewd. Pretend, gaslight, and delude. Um, again, like, this always be your energy. Y'all always have this extra person coming up in here um, trying to fix what they broke. But it's never sincere. It's always on some gaslight and shit. It's always on some trying to make the situation work for them type shit, Capricorn. So let's pull their energy and see what's going on with this person. Maybe this is an older ex than the most recent one that all of these readings have been about. But um, let's see. How does this person feel about Capricorn in the connection? Honestly. Okay. What we have. Okay, and how does Capricorn feel about this person in the connection? <laughs> Two 
too many. Well, all of them tried to come out in reverse, whatever they were. What did I just say? You should judge me? Hello? What is the mutual energy? Saw the tower trying to show itself. I'm really tired of getting these kind of messages for y'all, Capricorn. I just want y'all to be happy. I just want y'all to be happy, friends. <sighs> okay, so this person's energy. Um, I feel like I have to take in some time to really think about what has happened. They feel like you are their wish fulfillment. They feel like you bring them peace. However, some of y'all might be dealing with a Pisces. <laughs> a cups energy is water energy. We also have the seven of cups here, which is that um, kind of delusional, kind of delusional energy, okay? Um, so I, what I'm getting is after thinking about y'all's relationship after um and i don't even know that this was any uh practical like really grounded thinking that they were doing i think this might have just been pondering with the seven of cups coming up here the seven of cups energy is very um delusional it's very imagination based it's not necessarily based in the facts it's um very head in the clouds, okay? Um, so I feel like it's almost like they're idealizing you. Like, it's almost like they've forgotten the reality of the relationship. And they're like, oh, it was such a great time. It was lovely. It was everything I ever wanted. I don't know why we didn't work out. <laughs> but the reason why that y'all didn't work out was because of them and their delusion, okay? Um, and this person is feeling very strongly about you with the King of Wands energy. They really want to give you that or receive some of that thing, some of that eggplant or whatever it is that y'all do. Um, <laughs> they, um, yeah, I don't necessarily feel like it's for some of you, for some of you all, y'all know exactly who this person is and you know that they're toxic or narcissistic or whatever their damage is. But for some of you, this person is not so bad. It's just that they don't really live here with us in reality. Um, and the way you're feeling about it is, I don't know that you want to heal this. Okay, we have the temperance card in reverse. And this, in this specific deck, the temperance card is a syringe. But um, with it in the reverse, I feel like you don't want healing here. You are really impatient with the with this connection um, and really imbalanced when you're in this connection. And the Empress card, though she's showing up in the upright, um, I'm really feeling that uh, energy of a stop it. Like, I'm good. It's like, you don't bring me balance. And you need to stop right there because what I'm trying to do is this empress energy i'm trying to grow i'm trying to be fertile and abundant i'm trying to love on myself and you dear are an interruption so i need you to stop right where you are full stop okay this person makes you feel trapped and victimized and that is not what you want that's not how you're trying to feel so it is time for you to make a judgment call. Once again, Capricorn, if I have to keep telling you this message, I'm going to pull up. I am. Okay, but it is time for you to make a judgment call. And with this being a major arcana, I feel like it needs to be a final judgment. Stop playing with this person. Stop going back and forth with this person. Because you're not doing nothing but preventing your own growth. You are blocking your own fertility and your own abundance. There's probably somebody waiting just outside of all of this energy for you to be resolved, for the completion to come. Better like you keep playing with this person. You keep on picking up these motherfucking sticks and burdening yourself when you were supposed to be releasing. The mutual energy here 
is a new beginning, teamwork, collaboration, taking a leap of faith. This person wants to take a leap of faith with you. They want to start all over. You, on the other hand, I feel like you want to start over as well, but not necessarily with them. Or maybe some of you all do. If so, good luck and Godspeed. But I feel like you want to be with more like-minded individuals, surrounding yourself by people who want what you want, have, have the same energy that you have, are not toxic. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some wound-ology. Sorry if I went on and on rambling, but I'm really tired, Capricorn. Like, I want y'all to have better than this. And what, like, the last four readings have been about this person, and it's not, it's not, it's just not <laughs> at all. Okay. Your dreams need a practical plan towards moving forward. You need to be more practical. If you dream of healthy relationships, what are you going to do about it? Uh, one practical step to take, counseling. Hello. One practical step to take, freeing yourself of that energy, block, block, block. Putting yourself in healthier surroundings. Okay. Nothing will come of this, baby. This is a void, of course, moon. There's nothing that will come of this. It will continue to be a cycle. You will continue to go round and round with this person. There is no growth or fertility here. And finally, emotions are running high. It's super moon. Understandably so, especially if this is someone that, again, you've been round and round and round with. Several cycles with. But... Capricorn, I need you to make a practical decision, a logical decision when it comes to this person. Get out of your heart. Get out of your heart. Make the smart choices. <clears throat> One more message, please, for Capricorn Rebel. <laughs> You need some fucking yoga in your life. Ancient shit is cool. All right? That's a great time to meditate, reflect. I might need to go outside and do some yoga in the fucking dirt, in the grass, get grounded. You need to stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. Spend time with someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. I keep saying this, but y'all don't be listening. You look like a shit show. You're a hot mess. Fact. Clean yourself up. And this may be a shit show in the sense of how you're presenting to people. Especially if um, this is someone who you've dealt with over and over and over and people know about it. And people know how fucked up this person may have treated you. But you just keep going back. People may view you as a shit show, as a whole dumpster fire. Like they don't want to watch, but they cannot help it. Because why do you keep doing this to you? To you, why, why are you doing this to yourself? It's time for you to rebel because fuck it. Do what people don't expect. Because right now people are fully expecting for you to keep running back and keep on running back and keep on running back. Like what team you play for? Steelers Nation, gang gang. Um, but stop running back. Do do something different this time, Pat. All right. Uh, advice. Advice. Advice for Capricorn. <laughs> Girl, let me tell y'all what this advice is. We got three queens coming up for the advice. We have the Mother of Wands, the Mother of Pentacles, and the Mother of Swords. Without even diving too deep into the meanings, queen up, like, queen up. Or, I mean, no gender in tarot, but 
the energy of the queens are mastery. They are equal to the kings. Okay, they are mastery. It is time for you to boss up. Off rip. We have the mother of swords. This is sexy, confident energy. We have the mother of pentacles. This is nurturing energy. And we have the mother of swords. This is intelligent energy. You need to embody all of these queens in this time. Not a single one of these queens will settle for whatever this person is trying to give you. Garbage. Not a single one of these queens will settle for less than what they deserve. It is time for you to love you and treat you as you want others to treat you and accept nothing less, period, period. All right, Capricorn, I'm tired of talking to y'all. Y'all really going to make me pull up on you. And I don't want to do that. You don't want smoke with me. But you got to do better. Okay. So if this resonates for you, Cap, please make sure that you like, share, subscribe. Please make sure that you comment below. Book a personal if you need it. But trust, I'm going to be just as abrasive in a personal as I am on YouTube. I don't change. Okay. Um, but yeah, book a personal if you need it. I'm here for you. And until the next time that I read for you all, I wish you all love and light and everything right. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.